Sailor! Sail ho! Welcome to the game! So, yeah, uh, how many buccaneers we got? Arr, what be your name, matey? Give away! You buzz in with the letter B, as in... Boy, do I wish my leg weren't made of wood! I now... Oh, oh, no, okay, I got it! Captain Impatient, now go and seek your booty! Remember, me freedom depends on ye! Keep adding to that loot! Save me! Save me! Welcome, how you doing? Good to see ya, cause it's not like I have any friends. Okay, take your seats please, it's time for liftoff. Wanna... Well, if it isn't my old friend, Snazzy Trousers, Bat Boy, this one can net you four grand. Hey kids, it's Howdy Duty time. Which of the super friends would most likely get kitted for shopping at a store called Big and Really Friggin' Tall? Samurai, Green Lantern, Aquaman, or Apache Chief? Come on, take it! Apache Chief had the superpower to grow extremely tall. Which doesn't make his mother very happy. Why, he's grown out of three pairs of dungarees just this year! Oh well, superheroes will be superheroes. Go ahead and pick one of these. Your category is going to be the Jordan Rulers. This one's worth 2,000 simoleons. Alright, think way back to the events of 1999 and tell me what best completes this analogy. Michael Jordan is too retired as King Hussein I of Jordan is too... It's yours if you want it! Sired? The guy was like 63 years old at the time. I'm not saying it's impossible, but come on. <laughs> uh, does this ring a bell? The beloved King of Jordan died in 1999, the same year that the beloved King of Basketball retired and went someplace warm. Specifically hell, in the form of the Washington Wizards. So, what's it gonna be? This one's called Peanut Butter and Vicious Creature of Death Sandwich. Pay attention, because this one's worth $6,000. All right, let's do it. Which of the following is not a monster found in the game Dungeons & Dragons? Violet Sludge, Gray Ooze, Ochre Jelly, or Gelato? Go for it! Oh, my God. Of course there's Gray Ooze in D&D. &D. Just what have you been doing with your Friday nights? <laughs> no intelligence points for you. <laughs> there is no violet sludge in the game, but there are such things as gray ooze, ochre jelly, and gelatinous cube. And they all attack you from your bagel. Evil, evil bagels. Pick a category. For your enjoyment, remember the whatever. We're talking six grand here, so pay attention. Yes, there's nothing like old heroic battle cries like Remember the Maine from the Spanish-American War. Ah, yes, the Maine. <laughs> the Maine. What, um, what was the Maine, anyway? A uh, ship, a harbor, a fort, or a battle? Go on, do it! The bombing of Pearl Harbor did not spark the Spanish-American War. It sparked the Mini Pearl War. <laughs> Here's a good answer. The Maine was a ship. The U.S. declared war when it done got blowed up in Havana Harbor. Of course, now our U.S. history books just contain post-it notes that say, Remember to remember the Maine. How about picking a category? How did you know this question was a diss or dat? The category for this diss or dat question is way to go. Alrighty, I'm going to list off seven items, and for each one, I want you to tell me if it runs primarily north to south, or it runs primarily east to west. For each one, if it runs north to south, press one. 
If you think it runs east, west, press 2. And hit 4 if you want to skip it. Okay, you've been through this. I'm just going to put your 30 seconds on the clock then. And we're off. The mighty Mississippi. Does it run north, south, or... The equator, north, south, or... Latitude. Parallels of latitude. The Amazon River. The Mason-Dixon Line. Last one, the Great Wall of China. You only got three right, my friend. That's not very pretty. Hey, don't worry about it. It could have been worse. <laughs> yeah, barely. How about picking a cat? Well, look what I found. See the world in assless chaps. And you pocket 4,000 bucks if you get this one right. Okay, let's go. Imagine the songs on Prince's Around the World in a Day album are items he would want on an actual round the world trip. Which of the following would he bring along? It's yours if you want it. I do this out of love. The correct answer is, you pack a raspberry beret. You know, the kind you find in a second-hand store. Go ahead, pick Welcome to the Jack Attack. Pay attention to the items I show you. Buzz in on a correct match and you win. Well, you want to get right to it. Fine with me. Here's your clue. Hot enough for you? Or is it just me? <laughs> Good luck. My friend, mom and dad would be proud. Let's take a look at your score. That's the game. You know, you kind of remind me of a dead animal on the side of the road on a hot summer day. You stink. Listen closely now. There's a fly buzzing in your ear. It's saying, You don't know, Jack! Well, look at you, playing Jack all by yourself. Isn't that sweet? Hey, you know what? I bet you win. Okay, put down the instruction manual. It's time to get started. Time to select a category. The category, sex, drugs, and tipper gore. Looks like this one's going for 2,000 bucks. All right, now everybody, listen up. Which song and ice teas? Body of work got everybody so mad. Go on, do it. No, that's an NWA song. I think it was on their Christmas album. What do you say we check out the right answer? Yep, Ice T's group body count did the song Cop Killer. I'll tell you what though, nobody said anything about the very next cut, Mime Killer. Double standard, man. That's bogus. Tell me which category you want. This one's called Bachman Captured, Turner Still at Large. 4,000 bucks if you get this. It's time. 
Which of these is the ultimate survivor story? Man escapes by poking eye of the tiger. Against all odds, man eats own leg. Small boy unhurt, spat out by man eater. Or woman fends off maniac on... Go for it! The band Survivor had a big hit with the song Eye of the Tiger. <laughs> For some reason, their follow-up single, Nose of the Water Buffalo, never really hit the charts. Wanna pick a category? This category is known as That's the Wrong Hole. This one's worth 4,000 bucks. Eyes forward, we're going. Because she also fell down a hole, who might Alice have run into in Wonderland? Baby M, Baby Faye, Baby Jessica, or Baby Spice? Come on, take it! You big dummy. <coughs> okay, now here's a good answer. In October of 1987, Jessica McClure's fall into and subsequent rescue from a well received worldwide media attention. Yeah, that's great. Where the hell was everybody last week when I got my head stuck in the banister? Whatever. Whatever. Time to make a choice. This one's called PDAAA Knock It Off. 4,000 bucks if you get this. Well, I guess it's no mystery that PDA stands for Public Display of Affection, right? Right. Well, if you're engaged in a PDA with your PDA, what are you probably doing? Stroking your vial of palladium, kissing your palm pilot, hugging your minivan, or goosing your boss? Go on, do it! Technological marvels like the palm pilot are known as personal digital assistants, or as the rich kids call them, PDAs. But remember, while you're kissing your palm pilot, somewhere deep in your coat pocket, your cell phone's heart is softly breaking. Time to choose a category. Well done. You've just chosen a dis or dat. The category for this dis or dat is Hairspray Jones. All right, I'm going to read off seven names, and for each one, I would be pleased for you to tell me if it's something for your hair or slang for the drug heroin. As each name comes up, if it's a hair care product, I see you got this thing down. I'm just going to put you 30 seconds on the clock, all right? Let's do it. Bert Plus Hair Black Top Selsin Blue I Know White Red Chicken Dippity Doo Last one, Hot Hazel. All right, so you picked up five. It's not the best you could do, but let's take a look at this. Well, there you have it, I guess. Go ahead and pick one of these. Here's a little something I call boing, boing, snap. This one can net you four grand. Okay, then. Let's rock. Your big plan is to break some bed springs on spring break. Since it's actually a type of mattress, where's the best place to get some action? It's yours if you want it. A mattress that's six feet wide and almost nine feet long? Damn, it ain't called the California King for nothing. And you just think, if California falls off into the ocean, you'll have your own fully padded continent to float around on. So, what's it gonna be? Well, you've made it to the Jack Attack. You should already know how this works. All you need is to get a clue. Rhymes with chunt. Get your mind out of the gutter and your finger on your buzzer.
Well, you did all right, but I still can't help but feel like a high school guidance counselor lecturing you about living up to your full potential. Of course, a brutally honest guidance counselor would tell you... You don't know Jack! Yep, this is it. You don't know Jack. I'm glad to see you had nothing more productive to do than sit and play a computer game by yourself. Well, to each their own, I guess. Now then, I hope you packed the lunch, because it's time to get started. Pick a category. Coming at you. Commie, 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 chameleon. And you pocket 4,000 bucks if you get this one right. Put it in gear, because here we go. Imagine you want to throw a party for the Communist Party. Which of the following should you not count on? Let Valenza bring... Come on, take it! Excuse me, whose black beret is this in the bean dip? <laughs> the correct answer is... Lech Valenza was the leader of the Solidarity Party in Poland, which opposed the Polish Communist Party. Look at me! Look at me! I put lampshade on head and... Oh, no. <laughs> Tell me which category you want. I'm calling this one very interesting. Get it right, I'm handing over 4,000 bucks. All right, I think it's time for a little fruity addition. Blackberry plus raspberry equals what? Sparkleberry, huckleberry, boysenberry, or gooseberry. Go for it! You know, I always wondered what the heck boysenberry yogurt was made of. Now I know. <laughs> and just because boysenberries may be a bit fruity, it's no reason to laugh at them. How about picking a category? Here we have the phallus cells, baby. Two grand for this, baby. Hey, kids, it's Howdy Doody time. Because one of its species is called bottlenosed, which of these would make the most appropriate ad photo for absolute? A mole. It's yours if you want it. No, there's nothing really bottle-shaped about pelicans. But hey, look at that throat sack. I want to touch it, but I'm repelled. <coughs> Let me show you what I would have picked. Flippers got a bottle nose. And, like their frou-frou vodka drinks, the ladies love it. Time to select a category. Okay, give it up for their parents. So they got it right at least once. How does $4,000 sound? Brace yourself, this might sting a little. If your mom and dad were total science geeks, how might they begin your birds and the bees talk? Let's see about the Mustelidae and Suidae. Come on, take The total spazoids that you call parents will be discussing the Avis and Apis, or birds and bees. Oh, and by the way, if they decide to do a live visual demonstration, run for your life! Go ahead, pick a category. Well, look at you. You've just chosen a dis or dat. And this dis or dat question's category is set phasers to sweet, sweet loving. All right, all right. I'm going to read off seven things, and for each one, I want you to tell me if it's a term used in tantric sex or a character from one of the Star Trek TV series. As each one comes up, if it's a mystical Eastern sex term, why don't you press 1? If it's a sci-fi character from a Star Trek series, press 2. And if you want to skip it, press 4. Hey, I'm ready if you are. Give me 30 seconds on that clock. It's showtime. Zulu, tantric sex or <laughs> Yum yum. <laughs> Warp. Uhura. <laughs> Sudi. Quark. <laughs> One more! Yay! Well, you missed three, but you got four! Wow, the thrill of mediocrity. Let's look at your new score. Alright, keep it to yourself. Your score could be going down. 
want to pick a category? We call this one, that's a lot of commercials for 10 bucks. And you pocket 4,000 bucks if you get this one right. All right, let's do it. How many movies would be available at the local mall's Paraplex? 12, 1,024, 1 billion, or 1 trillion? Go for it. 1 trillion movies. And over 90 billion of them feature Gene Hackman. Go ahead and pick one. All rise. The Jack Attack is now in session. You should already know all about the Jack Attack. So let's get right to it. Here's your clue. They brung it to us first. Time to find out who's going to be the last one standing. Enjoy. game. Hey, way to go. Who knew that playing with yourself could be so rewarding? You see, this is how those dirty, bad, filthy habits start. Now, lean back, close your eyes, and say, You don't know Jack! You don't know Jack!